Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link multiple files in C++ using the Linux compiler G++. So the first thing I want to do to demonstrate this is create a function file. So I'm going to create a function file uh, called function underscore file dot C++. Okay, and let's just put the purpose of the file up here is to demonstrate linking in a function file. Okay, and close out that comment, and I'm going to create my function. So uh, it's just going to add two numbers, so I'm going to call it sum, and it's going to be a type integer. It's going to take in a first integer and a second integer, and then it's going to add those two up. So we're going to create a variable called sum underscore nums for the sum of the numbers and set it equal to num1 plus num2. And then we'll just return the sum underscore numbers. So it's a very simple function, but we're just this is just for demonstration purposes. So we've created that file. Now let's create our main file. So I'm going to create a, another file called main.c++. And I'll just put a comment in here uh, that the purpose of this is to demonstrate linking uh, two or more files and compiling them together. Okay, and I'm going to include uh, iostream header file, and I'm going to let the program know I'm using the standard namespace. Okay, and what I need to be able to run that other function is, of course, the function prototype. So I'm going to type the prototype here, int sum. And if this doesn't make sense to you, I'll leave a card above. Uh, what I would do is check out my previous video on functions. OK, so I'm going to create my function prototype. So I'll say int and then sum, the name of the function. It's going to take in an integer called num1 and an integer called num2. OK, we have to have that above the main function. And now I'll create the main function here. And within my main function, I'm going to create two integers, one called num1, the other one called num2. Uh, it is important to note that I could just pass in two numbers, but I'm going to keep consistent with the num1, num2. I'm going to say num1 equals 5 and num2 equals 7. We're going to do a very simple program where we just call the function. So we're going to do C out, and then we're going to call the sum function. We're going to pass in num1 and num2. So we should just get this to print 12 to the screen. We're going to end the line and return 0. Okay. So now we've got those two files created. So I'm going to open up a terminal. In my case, I'm using eshell for Emacs. Doesn't matter what you use. You just have to be able to run the G++ command. First off, I'm going to list out the files that we have. So we know we have function underscore file dot C++ and main dot C++. And now I'm going to run the compilation and linking command, which is G++. And I'm going to type the main dot C++, do a space, and then the function underscore file dot C++. Do another space. I'll do a dash O for output. And I'm just going to output these to one file, and I'll just call that one main. And I'm going to hit Enter. OK, so everything compiled well. Now, if I run it, I can do a period forward slash and main to run, and I get 12. So the, now I demonstrated for two files here, but you could do this for multiple files. And that's basically it. It's just that easy. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it helps get out to more people? I also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.